we're playing date, marry, kill. Wait, what's that? Each of us have to take turns picking who we date, marry, or kill. So, for example, come here, speaker man. Uh, okay. And then uh, you too, speaker baby, stand next to me. And now you must pick between the three of us which one you want to date, marry, or kill. Hmm, well, I think I'll marry Dash, date, speaker man, and kill speaker baby. What? Ain't no way. I'm way more handsome it's, than I, Dash. What? No way, dude. I deserve to get married. What? No, I should get married. I can't believe I got killed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we can settle this. Um, how about whichever one of you builds the best couple's house, I'll marry. And, um, okay, it's on. I can obviously build the best couple's house. You guys are going down. What? No way. You suck at building. Oh, Pom, you get ready to see the best couple's house ever. Ugh, I don't know. Anyone but you. And, whoa, Pom, uh, speaker, baby, you really just gonna take that? <laughs> no, I'm gonna build the best house, and then you guys will see. And, uh, dude, even if you build a mansion, I don't think Pommy's gonna like you very much after that reaction. Plus, who wants to get married to a baby? And, yeah, true. That is a fair point. But, anyways, let me go ahead and grab a wand in here. I'm gonna get started on building this epic couple's house. This is gonna be the sickest couple's house you've ever seen. Wait, before you start building, are you guys gonna choose who you wanna date, marry, and kill, too? And, oh, yeah, that's a good point. But, wait a minute. Why don't we all make couple's houses? And then, at the end, we can all choose who we wanna date, marry, or kill. That way, we each have an idea of, like, uh, who's the best person to marry. I guess so. I guess it helps to have an example house. Plus, it could be fun. All right, all right. Well, anyways, here, I still gotta focus on building my couple's house. This is gonna be the most sick couple's house you've ever seen. I'm gonna go ahead and set the roof to some glass because this is gonna look super cool. There we go. Here, let me go ahead and grab a few of these oak logs. And I'm just gonna go ahead and place this all around the house. This is gonna look sick. My house is actually gonna be the most epic couple's house you guys have ever seen. Pomni, quick question. What's your favorite kind of flowers? Why are you asking? Uh, no particular reason. Uh, just, what's your favorite kind? Uh, I guess I like the blue ones. Uh, the blue ones. Okay, got it. Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, wait, speaker, baby. I don't think Pomni likes you very much. Oh, uh, no. What do you mean she definitely likes me? And, uh, wait, speaker, baby. Are you putting a bunch of these blue flowers around your house? Dude, you gotta make it look more subtle. You can't be, like, this obvious. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm putting these around my house because they fit in with the theme. And I think we all know that's not the real reason. <laughs> Wait, what theme are you going for? Uh, you'll just have to see at the end. Okay, okay, we'll see. But anyways, here, now that I've got the base of my couple's house done, I'm gonna start building a bunch of cool stuff on the inside. So, like, uh, you know, couple's activities and all that. What kind of couple's activities? And, wait a minute. The first thing a couple has to do is get married, right? So, the, why don't I build, like, a wedding area? Here, let me go ahead and build a stage for that. I wouldn't say that's the first thing a couple needs to do. And what? No, I'm pretty sure that's how it works, speaker man. Uh, no, not really. When's the last time you've been in a relationship? Well, uh, I've never really, like, been in one before, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I think usually you take people out to dinner first. And, oh, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. I forgot about that. Okay, good idea. I should build a kitchen first. That way they can eat dinner and then get married afterwards. So, here, let me go ahead and build the kitchen area right now. That's not exactly what I meant, but I guess that's all right. And, yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. It's gonna be super epic. All I gotta do is just build, like, a little kitchen with some dining areas, and then I can get started on building the wedding area. So, here, let me go ahead and do that right now. And, here, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the walls of the kitchen into some glass that is looking pretty sick but wait hold on i should probably set the walls over here into some wood because these are like on the outside of the house slash slash set wood boom there we go and let me do the same over here on this side there we go and all right this kitchen area is about to be sick the first thing i need to do is make like an actual entrance area so let's do that right over here in fact we can make this area a little bit bigger there we go and okay hmm, what do you typically need for like a standard dinner date and oh i guess you need like tables right so let me go ahead and grab a few carpets um food and oh yeah of course food i'll get to that later but first i need to go ahead and have like the environment you know i need to set up the carpets and the tables and all that so here let me go ahead and put down a table there just like that boom looking good and oh wait actually hold on if it's supposed to be like a couple's date there should probably only be two chairs there we go and here i'll just go ahead and build a few of these tables all around here so you know uh, there could be multiple couples dining here at once i guess and now i gotta deal with the actual food and hmm, wait guys what do people usually eat during dates i like spaghetti or soup and uh spaghetti or soup let me see do we have any of that soup and ooh, uh what are your thoughts on beetroot soup? It makes me want to cry, but in a good way. And, oh, okay, uh, that's good to hear. Uh, beetroot soup on the menu it is. All right, well, anyways, uh, here, what could I do for the food? How are the people actually going to get their food? Wait a minute, I just got a banger idea. What if I have automatic food dispensers on top of the ceiling on top of each table? So when everyone wants to eat their food, they can just hit a button, and then their food will automatically get dispensed on their table. That sounds interesting. Yeah, no need to wait for slow waiters or anything. All you do is just hit a button, and then your food will instantly be delivered. That sounds like a bunch of unnecessary stuff. I'm just gonna have private chefs cook food. And what? No, dude, you can't do private chefs, especially you, speaker man. You cannot do private chefs because by the time they're actually done cooking the food, the, your, whoever you're dating is gonna get to know you and then they're gonna leave. So you need to have the food come as quick as possible to distract them from your personality. What? That's not good at all. You need to talk while you 
eat and then you like, you know, you get into a deep conversation. And uh, yeah, maybe anyone other than you. You're literally a speaker. Dash, don't be mean like that. Everyone deserves love. I mean, except for sp speaker baby, but. Um... And, uh, the, whoa, 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 <laughs> speaker baby. You'll change your mind when you see what I'm building. All right, all right. Well, anyways, I think I'm done with my food dispenser now. I just need to go ahead and test them out. Let me go ahead and press this button and boom, there we go. Automatic food dispensers. This is so sick. All right, uh, the, what I need to do now is just fill up all these dispensers with different food. So I guess we can have some beetroot soup in this one over here and then we can have some steak inside this one over here and then uh, ooh, we should also have like some carrots or like some you know the healthy vegetables and stuff so we can put that in this one and then in the last one we can go ahead and have some uh, ooh, uh, cooked chicken that sounds pretty good all right well there we go i just finished the dinner area so now i can get back to building the wedding area there's gonna be so sick i feel bad for your future wife and what what are you talking about well i mean you're already planning the wedding and you haven't even met her and uh yeah what's the problem with that i'm just trying to make everything efficient here okay i don't want to like go uh, date someone for a year and then marry them the one we can just do it in like a day. Oh, Dash, I've got something for you. It's called speed dating. I think you would like and, it. Wait, speed dating? What's that? That sounds interesting. Well, it's like speed running Minecraft, but with, uh, you know, like girls and women. And whoa, wait, hold on. Who's got the fastest run? That's a pretty bad way of describing it, speaker man. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold on. There's something I haven't heard about before. Who's got the fastest run? I need to beat them. That's not how you look at dating usually, actually. And no, no, no. Trust me. There's the way you do it. You got to make everything super efficient and quickly because why would you want to waste time with the person you love? I don't get why you want to rush through everything. I'm going to take super slow with mine. It's going to take like a hundred years. And, oh, wait, wait, what? That sounds like a horrible idea. One hundred years? Yeah, don't you want to spend time with me? You know, since you love me. What? I love you? No way. Uh, no, you totally do. That's why you told me what flowers you like. Guys, can someone save me? Uh, okay, best of luck to you. But anyways, my wedding area is actually looking pretty sick. I just need to finish putting down a few more trees over here because, you know, uh, we got to make it look really nice. And boom, there we go. The wedding area is officially complete. I've got the stage over here and I've also got the seats for all the, the people spectating and i've even got the microphone here for the guy who says like you may now kiss the bride blah 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 that sort of stuff oh the wedding announcer and yeah yeah that guy here let me go ahead and grab a villager spawn again i'm just gonna use like a villager for that let me go ahead and put him here boom there we go and okay you're gonna be named uh, uh joseph yeah all right well anyways now that i've got the stage area done wait i need to build a room so that the people getting married can like get prepared and everything so they can like put on their like suit and like fancy clothes and all that and yeah okay that's gonna be very important so like a dressing room and yeah yeah pretty much i'm just gonna have like a dressing room on each side of the stage. And, hey, 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 Joseph, uh, what are you doing? You're supposed to be going in there doing your job. Are you trying to sneak out? Okay, okay, hold on. I need to go ahead and replace these doors with iron doors in a moment. My wedding guy's trying to sneak out. But anyways, pretty much what I'm going to have in each of these dressing rooms is an automatic uh, clothing dispenser. I'm going to have dispensers with like fancy clothes and all that. So what you can do is just hit a button and it'll automatically put on all your clothes for you. You really like buttons that do stuff automatically, don't you? And yeah, we can't be wasting time doing it ourselves because that's inefficient. And oh, wait, hold on. I need to go off my plot a little bit. Let me just go ahead and build off a little bit like this. Boom. There we go. And how many blocks do we have? This side, one, two, three. So we need to go one, two, three on this side as well and then build up the walls. Well, I'm sorry to let you guys know, but uh, there's no way you guys are going to win this competition now that I have my base pretty much built. What in the world is this? Dude, is this like some sort of ancient castle or something? Uh, yeah, what girl doesn't love an ancient castle? Wait, that's so pretty. Wait, what? You like ancient castles? Um, well, I don't know if it looks ancient, but it's so cool. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I did not expect a woman to like ancient castles like that. Okay, uh, though, what do I need to do to make my thing more ancient? Um, um, and oh, wait, wait, what if I go ahead and pull vines everywhere? That way my house will look like super old and ancient. Uh, I don't think it's the vines that do it. I think it's, you know, just how the build is built. And no, 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 trust me. I'm pretty sure it's all about the vines. Look, it's gonna make the build look a lot older. Uh, here, Pommy, what do you think of this? Oh, that's quaint. And yes, yeah, C-Speaker, man, I was right. It's really nice. But anyways, I gotta get back to building my dresser rooms. All I gotta do is just finish building the walls over here like this. I don't think she likes his build that much, Speaker Baby. Yeah. I don't think so either. What? No, guys, she definitely likes my build. But anyways, all I need to do now is set the floor into some wood. And now I can start building the actual like automatic dressing room area. So let me go ahead and grab some dispensers. And pretty much what I'm going to have here is some dispensers going this way, just like that. And then I need to grab a fence really quick and some pressure plates and then put that right over here. Boom. And now pretty much whenever we walk in here, all of the dispensers are going to activate and automatically put on our clothes. But anyways, I need to find out what clothes I, I should actually wear during the wedding. So let's see. And oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I got a good idea. Let me grab some leather armor. Wait, guys, people usually wear, like, fancy suits and tuxedos at weddings, right? Yeah, but I don't think leather armor is fancy suits. And no, 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 trust me. It may not be fancy right now, but what I can do is dye it with some black wool to make it look like a suit. And check it out. This is looking super fancy. Now, let's go. And 
Ooh, yeah, I am looking so lit right now. I would marry myself, honestly, if I could. But anyways, let me go ahead and put all of this armor inside of these dispensers. Wait, can I marry myself? I have no answers for you. That's for you to figure out yourself. Did let you do that. No, they don't let you do that, right? And uh, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just have to settle for less. But anyways, I need to test out my armor dispenser thingy. So here, let me go ahead and walk into it. Boom. And there we go. Instantly, I get my tuxedo fully on. That is actually awesome. All right, but I should probably take this off for now because I don't want to like get it dirty before the wedding. All right, all right. Well, anyways, all I got to do now is build another dressing room on the other side of the stage for the, the other person getting married. So my wife. So hmm, I guess let me just go ahead and build the same thing here. Let me put down some of these dispensers over here. Boom. There we go. And uh, wait, hold on. What's the girl usually supposed to wear during a wedding? Like a dress, you know? And yeah, but like, uh, what's the armor equivalent of that? I don't know. Well, wait, what about chain armor? I guess that could work. Let me go ahead and grab some of this. And okay, there's got to be something better. Come on, let me see. <laughs> wait, well, hold on. What in the world is this? Wait, can I put this on my head? Is no one going to point out that he, he got chain armor? And whoa, what the? Okay, uh, my wife is going to be hyped during the wedding. This is actually sick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of these inside of this dispenser over here. And here, let me put the chest plates in there and the chain leggings in here and the boots in this one over here. And okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and test out this armor dispenser really quick. And boom, there we go. <laughs> this is actually sick. Although, wait, how am I supposed to kiss my wife if they're wearing this? This is going to kind of like be covering their face. Wait, what? Your wife's face is going to be covered during your wedding? Well, I mean, kind of. I found something really cool, though. I think it's going to be worth it. What's going to be worth having your face covered at your own wedding? And, okay, you know what? Here, I'm just going to show you guys. All right, what do you guys think of this mask for the, like the, the person getting married? What is that? And what? What's the problem? Doesn't it look like fancy? When people say dear as a pet name, they don't mean it like that. And oh, yeah. Isn't that what they mean when people say like, uh, the, oh, dear to their wife? No, it's not. Uh, okay. I guess I can find something else to put on. Let me see it. Ooh, wait, what about a polar bear hood? These are pretty cool, right? You know, uh, I'm pretty sure women like polar bears. Is that from a real polar bear? Uh, honestly, I don't know, but it looks pretty cool, right? I guess it's kind of cuddly. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside of my dispenser. I'll replace all these deer skulls with it. All right. All right. Well, anyways, now let me go ahead and grab some pressure plates and some buttons and I'll just put them over here on the door so that people can actually like get in and out. Except for you, Joseph, you stay on the stand. All right. You have to do your job. Uh, I'm not paying you for nothing. And here, let me also go ahead and put some pressure plates on this side. Boom. There we go. And all right, my wedding stage area and the dressing rooms are complete. This is actually looking sick. Oh, wait, actually, wait, I need to go ahead and build a roof over here. Let me do that right now. Let me just do slash slash set wood and boom. There we go. Now both the dressing rooms are officially fully done. But anyways, uh, what else do people usually have during like weddings? We'll see. They have a dance floor. They have some cake. They have a, a place to eat. Oh, cake. Oh my gosh. That's a great idea. Oh, Pomni, you're definitely going to want to pick me. I have the best cakes ever. I'm an expert at this. Oh, what kind of cakes do you make? All of them. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. He's going to be hard to compete with, but um, okay. Okay. I, I'll see what I can do. So what you said, dance floor, cakes, all that. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I guess I can build a dance floor first. Let me just go ahead and grab every single color of carpet here. I'm just going to go ahead and literally grab every single one just like this. Boom. There we go. Oh wait, actually we also need to get some purple carpet in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and build a dance floor right over here. It's going to be like a whole rainbow dance floor looking thing. It's going to look sick. And boom, there we go. Okay. I think that should be enough disco floor. What I can do now is go ahead and grab a wand really quick and select all of this floor. And then I can just go ahead and slash slash stack it. Boom. There we go. And look at that. We got a repeating uh, dance floor. That looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and slash slash stack it one more time. There we go. And oh, wait, okay. Hold on. That kind of ate through my door. Uh, I need to fix that real quick. Let me just set all this stuff that we don't need to air really quick. There we go. And let me set this over here to some wood. Boom. And now I need to put the doors back. So let me grab some doors and boom. There we go. The dance floor is complete and we have it right in front of the main house door. So as soon as you walk into that house, the party is getting started. This is actually awesome. And hey, Joseph, I, I see you eyeing that door over there. I, I, hold on. I, do I really have to replace these doors with iron doors as well? Let me go ahead and grab some of these real quick. Is Joseph giving you problems? And yeah, he keeps trying to escape. I don't know why he doesn't like his job so much. You know, here, Joseph, just stand on the stage and get ready. Okay. The, the wedding is probably going to be happening very shortly. Anyways, now I got to build the actual like area for the DJ to, you know, do his music and all that. So let me go ahead and build a little stage right over here. Just like this. There we go. And let me go ahead and grab some slabs as well. Let me go ahead and put those right over here. In fact, actually, hold on. I think I need to make the stage go a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and have these stairs over here like this. There we go. Let's do the same over here on this side. Looking nice, looking nice. And now let me go ahead and grab a little bit of fence and just connect that to everything over here. There we go. And now all we have to do is give the DJ some equipment to actually like play his music. So let me go ahead and grab a jukebox really quick. And let me also grab a barrel. I'll just put the barrel down right over here on the floor. And I'm literally going to go ahead and grab every single music disc that was ever made because I'm going to have the widest selection of music at my wedding. It's going to be sick. Oh yeah, music is a great idea. Uh, Pomni, what's your favorite song? I don't know that much music. Stall? And ooh, wait, you like Stall? I'm pretty sure I have that one. Uh, no, don't steal my idea. And hey, I already have it in my music disc barrel. Hold on. I want to play this one. Let's see how it sounds. And ooh, 
Okay, okay. This, this one's kind of a banger, but uh, I should probably save this for the wedding. Eh, no, you don't. That one is mine. Uh, what the? Hey, hey, did you steal my music? What in the world? Thanks for the idea. Oh my gosh. All right, fine, fine, fine. You know, I, I, I didn't even like that song anyways. I, I've still got a bunch of other music discs, you know? Uh, instead, I'll play uh, the, the Malohai at my wedding. Yeah, th th this one's a banger. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, th th this, there's some heat. All right, well, anyways, let me go ahead and put this music disc back inside of the chest. There we go. And all right, now that I've got all like the basic wedding stuff down, hmm, what do I need to build next? And ooh, wait, I should probably build some activities for after I get married with my wife. Uh, so, hmm, what type of activity should I build? And ooh, wait, what about a roller coaster? That could be fun. Oh, I actually really like roller coasters. And yeah, 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 roller coasters are sick. I'm just gonna have one going all around my entire house. It's gonna be so cool. And I just gotta go ahead and build like a little starting room over here for it really quick. Yawn, a roller coaster? That's boring. You can't even make your own fun. I make it an elytra course. What? An elytra course? Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, that does sound pretty cool. But hey, you know, roller coaster, electric course, they're both gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, but mine's gonna be better because I'm awesome. What? No, wait. Okay, I need to prove to you that a roller coaster can be better than an electric course. All I gotta do is just go ahead and, you know, uh, make this the best roller coaster ever. Let me go ahead and grab a button. I think they're both lovely. And what? Well, well, no, 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 Pomni, trust me. You're gonna like the roller coaster so much more after I'm done building it, at least. All I gotta do is just make this thing super epic. Let me grab a minecart really quick. And okay, I think I have an automatic dispenser thingy to shoot the minecart out. So let's test this out. And okay, that works perfectly. And now I just gotta make this roller coaster actually like really cool and epic. So let me just go ahead and build the track right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and build it out of some wood first. And then I'll put all the roller coaster tracks on top of it. I don't know why you guys are even trying once you already chose me. And okay, hold on. Wait, what do you even have on your house yet? I haven't really taken a look at your house speaker, baby. And whoa, that is a lot of blue flowers, my guy. Uh, yeah, she said they're her favorite. Um, okay, and wait, hold on. What's the sign over here for? What does it say? Garden? Uh, okay. Wait, can I see the inside of your house? Uh, yeah, you can see inside if you want to get demotivated. Oh, what the? What is this? What is this a duplicate of yourself? Uh, yeah, this is just the marriage that's going to happen. That's a statue of Pomni, and then that's me. Uh, what in the world is this? How did you get a duplicate of yourself? Oh, this is just a wax bottle. It costs like, you know, $1,700. Why would you buy that? That's such a waste of money. Does Pomni know about her statue? And yeah, why does Pomni's statue look so bad? I didn't have enough money to buy the statue of her, but it's the thought that counts. And Oh, fair enough. And whoa, wait, is this your dance floor over here? Wait, does it actually light up? It's actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, not yet. I'm still working on that, but then you wanted to come in and see what I was doing. Ooh, okay, okay. I might have to steal this idea of having a light up dance floor. That does look pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. See ya. Wow, you're stealing my ideas. I can't believe it. And what? Oh, no, 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 no. It's not stealing. It's actually just uh, taking inspiration. Don't worry about it. Hey, well, you have to put inspired by speaker, baby. Uh, I'll think about it. But anyways, all I gotta do now is build my roller coaster. And I'm gonna make this thing go all the way up into the clouds. Uh, wait, there's no clouds. Well, I'm gonna make it go all the way up to where the clouds would be if there were any. But wait a minute. Hold on. We've been talking a lot about my speaker man and speaker baby's houses. Wait, Pomni, what do you have so far? Oh, uh, it's really not much. I just have, um, do you want to see or do you want it to be a surprise for later? Uh, I'll wait for a surprise. You know, since we're getting married, I guess we can connect our houses later and it'll be super sick. That'd be awesome if we get married. I actually haven't made my choice yet. And all right, all right. Well, I think the choice is going to be pretty clear as soon as you see my house because, you know, it is definitely the best one here. All right, well, you can stay in your little dream just hiding from the fact that my build is so much better than yours. And okay, okay. I guess we'll see whose house is better when we finally select who we're going to actually date, marry, or kill at the end. But anyways, I think my roller coaster is actually looking pretty good so far. All I need to do now is make it loop and then over here at the end, I can have an epic drop and then have it loop all the way around. It's going to be so sick. But anyways, and now I gotta build the actual drop for my roller coaster. So here, I gotta make sure to line this up super perfectly. And okay, I think this is lined up. This should work. Here, I guess let me go ahead and actually put down all the powered rails so that we can actually test it out. So let me just run across the entire roller coaster, putting all these powered rails. This is gonna be a crazy roller coaster. All right, and now I need to go ahead and power everything. So let me just put some redstone blocks all over the track, just like this. This is actually gonna be so sick. And boom, there we go. That should be the last redstone block. And all right, I think my roller coaster is fully functional now. Here, I gotta go. Go ahead and put it for a test. Let me just hop down over here really quick and let me hit the button and hop in a mine car. And oh, wait, hold on. I need to fill up the dispenser. Let me go ahead and put a few of these in just like that. And boom, here we go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's see if this thing actually lines up with the, the you know, the landing area. And hopefully, I don't just drop into the dirt. And here we go. Here we go. I'm about to drop in. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see if it lines up. And uh, okay, hold on. Uh, this isn't looking very promising so far. I don't think it's lining up. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And oh, okay. We, we were completely off. Well, at least we know where it lands now. Uh, so here, we can go ahead and just have some rails going here. And here, let me just go ahead and cover this up. And okay, now we have like a nice landing system where
where you land down over here and then you loop all the way around here back at the starting area. So uh, I guess let's go ahead and test it out again. Let's see. Is it actually going to work? Hopefully it works because uh, the last thing I would want to do is, you know, get my wife injured. Dash, your roller coaster is safe, right? And yeah, yeah, it's super safe. Trust me. I'm just testing it out right now to make sure everything works. So here we go. Come on. And oh. Um, that didn't work. Okay, hold on. What I need to do is go ahead and just move these walls outside a little bit. That didn't sound promising. And no, 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 don't worry. It's all part of the testing process, okay? As soon as I get the design down, then it's all going to be super working and safe. And wait, won't this be really bad for you? Because the amount of G-force you'll be experiencing while falling is going to be very terminal and it's going to, like, hurt a lot. And yes, Speaker Man, I don't know what you're on about, but check this out. Here, I'm about to drop. It's going to be so sick. Here we go. And okay, hopefully I actually line up with the rail this time and actually land on it properly. So here we go. Come on in. Yeah! Yes, that worked perfectly. And look, perfectly safe landing. All right, all right. Well, anyways, now that my roller coaster area is completely done, what else should I build? Hmm, what else could be entertaining for like a, a couple? And ooh, wait, 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 wait. What about a garage? Because, you know, uh, me and my wife are going to need a car to like get around places. So here, I guess let me go ahead and build that to the side of my house. And uh, wait, Speaker Ribby, I'm kind of invading on your land over here, but uh, trust me, it's going to be worth it. My garage is going to be sick. You are doing what? Uh, uh, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Just don't come outside of your house. Get this off of my property right now. Uh, but what the? No, speaker, I told you not to come outside. Come on. Can, can we please just leave it here? Fine. If we could share the garage because I need a place to park my car. Actually, yeah, sure, sure. That, that sounds like a good deal here. I guess let me go ahead and extend the back of the garage a little bit so that it can be like bigger. And uh, wait, since we're connecting it, we can make it like even bigger. Let me go ahead and just move this wall a little bit over that way. Let me just go ahead and break some of this over here. All right, I guess that works. I'll go get my car. And all right, sounds good. And uh, here, I guess let's go ahead and grab some concrete. And here, let's just go ahead and set all of the floor into some of this concrete using slash slash stack boom there we go looking good and ooh, wait hold on for the door we can have one of these things over here we can have one of these hanger doors that uh, i'm trying to park what the that's your car uh, yeah it's a bumper car how did you get that thing don't worry about it i just had to pull some strings uh wait, wait hold on this seems like kind of like a bad couple's car though where's your wife gonna sit uh, she's gonna have her own duh and uh okay that sounds pretty interesting but come on dude at least park it properly here i'll go ahead and pick it up and just put it down over here there we go that's a much better parking but anyways i think for my car let me see what type of vehicles do we have i need to find something really nice and what about a mini bus whoa this thing actually does look sick there's so much room in here and all right we should probably have another car as well in case something happens to the main one and it like breaks down or something and let's see Ooh, wait what about an off-roader that way we can go off-roading and it's gonna be super fun here, let me go ahead and see what this thing looks like and okay perfect i think this has two seats and yeah okay perfect we got one seat over here and then one seat over here and then we also have a trunk in case we need to put anyone else in but this is perfect let me just go ahead and park this correctly so i can move it right over here like this there we go okay that's kind of a bad parking let me go ahead and park this one manually let's just go ahead and put it in like that there we go Ooh, that was a really nice parking right there actually wait no it wasn't hold on come on come on i need to just line it up perfectly with the back of the other car. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. And wait a minute. Hold on. Speaker maybe painted his car orange. I want to paint mine purple. So let me go ahead and grab a crafting table really quick and some purple dye. And I also need to grab one of these spray cans. And let me just go ahead and mix these up in the crafting table. And boom. There we go. I've got some purple dye now. Let's go. My cars are looking super sick. But uh, the way I also need to have like some sort of gas. Let me go ahead and grab one of these gas pumps over here. And uh, here, I guess I'll just go ahead and put down two. I'll put down one over here for my cars. And then I'll put down another one over here for Speaker Baby's car. And here, let me just go ahead and fill up all of the gas pumps really quick. You know what? Here, speaker, baby, I'll do you a favor. I'll fill up your gas pump as well. All right. Well, anyways, now all I got to do is actually build a roof over here to the garage. So let me do slash slash set wood. Boom. There we go. And all right, speaker, baby, our garage is complete. This area is actually looking super sick. We got my mini bus and we got the off-roader and we got your bumper car. This is awesome. You have a bunch of this wedding stuff going on, but do you even have like, you know, the main part of the house building part? Like, you know, a bedroom? Bedroom? Oh gosh, you're right. I forgot about that. I forgot we're supposed to be building houses. Oh, gosh. Um, well, uh, the, where am I supposed to build a bedroom? Hold on. Actually, no, no, no. I did plan ahead. What I can do is build the bedroom on the roof. That's going to look super sick. And, uh, okay, I'm probably going to have to adjust some of the roof to not be made out of glass. But, yeah, this should work. Let me go ahead and grab a ladder really quick. All right. Well, anyways, here, all I got to do is just go ahead and put down some ladders right over here. And uh, I can build the bedroom up over here. And this should be a perfect location because for the bedroom, I need to go ahead and set all of the floor over here and do some wood because I don't want people just, like, looking through the glass. And, but this actually works out pretty well because, you know, there's a dance floor area and you know it's supposed to be dark here so that people can get like hyped up so yeah this actually works out quite nicely let me go ahead and just build the walls of the bedroom now i'll just go ahead and build them out of some oak wood just like this because this is gonna look super sick let me go ahead and select this and then run the command slash slash stack boom there we go actually i need to do it a little bit more once more there we go and here let me go ahead and select this and do the same over here on 
this side nice and boom there we go that's looking pretty nice let me just add this one last area over here and all right we've got the base of the bedroom complete although wait hold on where's the ladder at again it's over here somewhere right oh yeah there it is and all right now it's time to build the bedroom so here i actually have a lot of space to work with here so uh hmm, how am i gonna do this i guess the first thing i should probably do is grab a bed and wait hold on pomni your colors are like blue red and yellow right yeah let me go ahead and grab a bed in each one of those colors and uh, i guess let me just go ahead and put down a bunch of beds down over here just like this boom there we go that's looking pretty sick why wow, you don't even know the colors of the person you're trying to marry no i i knew i was just asking to uh you know have some small talk yeah to you know get to know her better i thought you were all about efficiency and yeah 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 i'm all about efficiency it's not like i uh, forgot the colors or anything and wait hold on i should probably move this there so that this evens out there we go that's looking pretty good and all right now that i've got the beds down uh the, what else do i need in a bedroom and uh here i guess i can have like a window in my bedroom let me go ahead and just set this entire wall into some glass boom there there we go that is looking pretty sick and wait a minute what if i go ahead and put lanterns on each side of the bed that way we can have like a little bit of light it can be like a night light essentially and wait a minute i just got a banger idea for what i can have in my bedroom so what if i go ahead and make the entire roof made out of some glass really quick wait what are you doing and okay you'll see you'll see pretty much i'm gonna have dispensers on each side of the bedroom and pretty much what these dispensers are gonna do is shoot fireworks and it's gonna be super cool when i'm going to bed with my wife i can have like a cool firework display right above us it's gonna be awesome no it's not that's dangerous and highly explosive how is that dangerous? No, they're going to be exploding in the air, not on us. Oh, wait. I thought you were saying like they were inside. And what? No, why would I put them inside? Although, actually, hold on. That could be a pretty cool idea. I'm not going to lie. I might have to do that in the party room. No, don't do that. That's really unsafe. And, no, no, no. Not in the bedroom. I'm talking about in the party room because, you know, people are going to be getting lit in here. And anyways, what I need to do now is just go ahead and connect all of these dispensers together with some observers really quick so that I can just activate them all with the flick of a button. It's going to be really nice. And here, let me just go ahead and connect all these observers over here on this side there we go that one looks good now i just gotta make this observer line go like this and okay i guess we can put the button over here like right on the bedside so that we can just activate it like while we're trying to sleep so here let me just go ahead and grab the redstone signal from this button really quick so let's just put some redstone over here boom there we go the redstone power is perfect now we gotta connect this one over here that looks good and then we gotta connect all the way over to this one over here too there we go this side is fully connected and now we gotta do the same over here on this side with these dispensers so here let's do that right now there we go and boom there we go all of the dispensers should be connected so now let me go ahead and grab some fireworks and ooh, okay i know exactly what color i'm going for i'm gonna make some yellow ones some red ones some purple ones and some blue ones just for like all our colors it's gonna be super awesome and here now let me just go ahead and assemble these fireworks so we got the blue ones over here and then we gotta make the yellow ones over here as well now let's make the red ones and we also have to make the purple ones of course for my color there we go and boom there we go we have all the fireworks we need let me go ahead and test them all out so this one over here should be purple so let's see is it gonna blow up and be purple let's go and now these ones over here should be all of palm these colors and let's go it works perfectly all right now let's go ahead and put those in all of the dispensers so i guess on the dispensers on this side i can go ahead and put all of palm these colors and now over here on this side i can go ahead and put all of the purple fireworks so let me go ahead and select this dispenser and replace all the empty ones with this filled one right over here and boom there we go now it is all filled up with fireworks so here i guess let's go ahead and test it out now that's all we have to do you guys want to see my fireworks display it's gonna be super sick oh right now and yeah yeah here pomni get ready as soon as i hit this button all of the fireworks should go off so here let me go ahead and hit it and let's see is it gonna work and whoa there we go that is looking awesome whoa that's so cool that actually worked so much better than i thought it would all right well uh guys i think i'm gonna win this well my house is done are you guys done yet and oh wait you're done with your house and uh yeah my house is done as well is everyone else done uh, yeah my house is completely finished oh, one second one second hold on i'm almost done and there we go all right all right well, anyways, now that all of the houses are done, we should take tours of each one of them. And then we can choose who we actually want to date, marry, or kill when we, like, see what their house looks like. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to win now that my house is done. And all right, all right. Well, uh, whose house do you guys want to check out first? Oh, we should definitely check out mine first because, you know, uh, it's easily going to win over Pomni. Okay, I guess we can check out your house first. Well, uh, what do you got? Oh, uh, well, right here we have my garage that I totally built. What? The I built half of that, okay? Well, I actually built most of it. I just, like, built it on your plot, kind of. I know, right? It's on my plot, so that means it's mine. But anyways, uh, I don't know why these stupid purple cars are here we can get rid of these what no my cars your cars i thought this was speaker baby's garage no pomni i built this garage oh yeah i was letting him park here but not anymore anyways if you just follow me what in the world okay well i'll have to get my cars back later but i guess let's see what you got on the inside before we go in we have a garden of your favorite flowers wow 
Oh, this is a lot of blue flowers. Did you plant this after I told you what my favorite was? Uh, yeah, I had to have your favorite flowers. Uh, everything's so blue. Anyways, what's next? And yeah, here, let's check out what you got on the inside of your house. And oh, it's free. I think you forgot to remove the statues. Wait, is this really a house? Is this a church? Oh, no, it's a house. But over here, we have the cakes that I was talking about. That's a lot of cake. Whoa, Spookery, that's a lot of calories. I'm not sure if they're really healthy. No, it's fine. And you can barely see it. But back there is the chef. Wow, you have your own personal chef, too? Oh, what the? That okay, sucks. that's interesting. But, uh, whoa, wait. I see you've got your dance floor complete. This area actually looks pretty sick. I actually didn't steal the idea. I also like the open design. And Oh, yeah, really nice how you have, like, all the redstone exposed. Um, I think this is a safety hazard. So I'm gonna go over here. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is supposed to be our wedding statue statue of me and oh yeah here's our song oh it's so like i said before do i really look this blocky uh, no i just didn't have enough money for the statue oh okay well anyways uh, whose house should we check out next well you know what they say first is the worst and second is the best so let's go with mine and, ooh, okay okay i actually can't wait to see what you got on the inside let's check it out and whoa okay that's a pretty cool looking staircase yeah we'll go up the staircase for now and uh here you can check out every single animal pomni this looks like a castle i didn't expect animals in here yeah, there was a cat somewhere, but I'm pretty sure she's outside right now. Do they all have names? You must have a hard time keeping track. Uh, no, look, they all have different colored collars. And I, I was going to let you name them, but up here is your awesome bedroom. And whoa, wait, let's check out the bedroom. And ooh, okay, this area actually looks pretty cool. It looks really fancy, actually. Yeah, I paid a lot of money for this. And uh, as you can see, you can check out your build in uh, Dash's really stupid roller coaster. Well, it's not stupid. It looks so nice. But anyway, we're not finished with the tour. We have to go all the way up to the top of the tower and oh wait is that what this ladder over here is for all right all right let's check it out and yeah, i'm just gonna fly across this ladder is gonna take way too long to go normally uh, as you can see up here we've got a little nice decorated area where you can read books and uh th we've got the most important part here an elytra course wait hang on what's this little red splash over here oh i was making a sandwich and some strawberry jelly uh fell but uh anyway uh get ready because we're gonna go on an awesome elytra course and whoa okay let me go ahead and grab some fireworks as well and uh all right i'm ready when are we starting uh, we're gonna go in three, two, one, go! All right, let's go! Here we go! And, whoa, wait, guys, I think I'm in the lead. I'm about to win. Let's go! Let's go! This is too easy! Come on, come on! And, wait, did I win? No! And I finished in front of you! I won! Oh, my gosh. I made it through all the rings except for the finish line one, but uh, that was pretty cool, I guess. But uh, where's your, like, wedding area? You didn't even have, like, a place to get married. Uh, yeah, because this is our uh, retreat home. This is after we get married. Oh, that's interesting. But we are not finished. We still have our awesome getaway vehicles. And, wait, what? Getaway vehicles for what? Uh, just in case we want to, like, go to town or something and like uh just have fun wow this is amazing how are you supposed to get the planes out of here though oh that's true this is a really closed room huh and yeah there's a pretty interesting design i will say oh don't worry i'll show you we just gotta do a little bit of this and a little bit of this boom there we go whoa what the uh, okay this is still gonna be kind of hard to take off though i'd like to see you try oh don't worry i got this check this out and up we go and, oh that was uh interesting but uh anyways uh whose house should we check out next um I guess my house can go next. And, ooh, all right, all right, let's check it out. Let's see, where do we start? Um, we should just go on the inside. Is everyone ready? Come on, over here. And, all right, yeah, let's check it out. And, whoa, wait, is this a dance floor? Wait, I actually have a similar one on my house. This is pretty cool. Yeah, but it doesn't light up like yours does. Oh, don't worry, I can still bust a move on this. Wait, can you show me your best dance move? Uh, I guess I can show you, uh, I can just do this. Yo, wait, wait, check me out. I got some dance moves. Check this out. I call this one the tornado. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty nice. Okay, upstairs, up here, we have battle arena because um sometimes life gets stressful what a battle arena for like your husband well i thought that sometimes talking stuff out can be a little difficult so we can just express stuff i'm not sure if that's a, a healthy relationship right there but i i guess we could take a look at wait, well, hold on wait do you is this just like survival games do you have a bunch of like gear inside the chest oh yeah you're supposed to put go into survival mode with the game changer also there isn't an exit button so you're gonna have to kill each other get to get out oh gosh wait we actually have to do this. All right, well, quick, I gotta get some gear. Let me grab some of this armor really quick. Well, uh, I found a one million damage sword, so let me just come through here. Oh, come on. Is there anything good inside of this chest? I can't open this chest in the middle. What? Oh, no. Ow. And oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, that was actually quite rigged, but what else you got? Well, usually that's supposed to last longer. If you want to try again, you can, but um, we have a little parkour to the roof right here. It's really simple. It's not meant to be difficult. And whoa, okay, parkour. I'm pretty good at this. Let me just do this. Boom, too easy. Yep, and up here we have a 
bedroom on the roof. Really simple, really nice. And then over here we have a pool. And whoa, wait, this actually looks awesome. You have like a whole pool up here. Yeah, I wanted to make it a heated pool, but um, that costed too much money, so I didn't. Oh, wait, no, I've got a life hack for that. I know how to make this a heated pool. Let's just uh, do some of this. And there we go. Oh. Oops. Wait, what are you doing? Oh, don't worry. This is fake lava. Once I get rid of the, all this obsidian, you'll see. Uh, what? Fake lava? Yeah, try and get in it. It gives you fire resistance. It actually feels pretty warm. Oh, I guess this is all right, but my pool doesn't have water in it anymore. Now it has awesome lava. Thank you, speaker man. Let's move on now. And all right. Yeah, what's the next part? Um, down here we have the outside. Um, we're actually supposed to move from over here. And, ooh, okay. I guess we can start here and wait. Hold on. Let let me guess. Is this the wedding area? Yes. So this is a little dating area where we can sit and talk and have dinner. Um, it goes kind of like this. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, guys, guys, watch this. Watch and learn. Uh, Want to get married? Wow, sure. See, guys, it works. That is how you date a girl. Uh, I don't think so, but uh, Pomni, you don't have any food out here. That's a really tall cake, and I can't see Dash anymore, but I guess that's okay. And yeah, let's just move on to the next house tour, guys. It is time to check out my house, which is the most epic house of them all. Is everyone ready? Uh, we have to start over here at the front door. And wait, why do you have, like, vines growing on your house? That's kind of bad, isn't it? No, I, I thought girls liked ancient architecture, so, you know, I thought this was a good addition. It's antique! Yeah, exactly! And wait, why do you need iron doors? Uh, don't worry about that. Joseph is, uh, you know, he hasn't been on the best behavior recently. But anyway, over here, we have the, the, the dance floor. And let me go ahead and grab a music list. I'm gonna go ahead and play some Molo High. is the best song ever. What do you guys think? Sounds kind of sad. And, oh, wait, wait, hold on. There's a sad song. No, no, no. Trust me, I got better stuff. Let me go ahead and see what do we have. Ooh, wait, what about some chirp? This one's kind of a banger. Ooh, yeah, this one's nice. Oh, yeah, I'm grooving. Ooh, I guess I can jump to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can all jump at the same time. Pretty nice. I call this one the stinky diaper. Ew, that's gross. Oh, ew. Okay, party's over, party's over. Let's move on to the next area. Anyways, this over here is the kitchen. And uh, ignore this guy. His name's Joseph. He's supposed to be uh, over there. But anyways, at the Pomni, this is where we can, you know, eat dinner and then get married afterwards. When you hit that button, a bunch of food is going to drop through these dispensers so we can have automatic food. I'd rather just reach up into the dispensers and grab how much food I want. And, yeah, but that's super slow. Why not just hit the button instead? That way you can have another round for everyone at the table. It's going to be awesome. That's nice. Um, the steak is a little warm, I think. Uh, this is not wedding food. And yeah, the dispensers make sure to keep them warm. And what do you mean this isn't wedding food? Steak is the banger wedding food. Wait, hold on, Pomna. You should sit over here. I have a surprise for you. Oh, okay. What's the surprise? Uh, wait, Speaker Man, can you hit the button again? And check it out. Look, beetroot soup. Soup. That makes me want to cry. And wait, I've actually got a few other selections of soup as well. I've got some rabbit soup and I've also got some of this suspicious stew if you want. Oh, all right. I guess I'll try the suspicious stew. Um, and yeah, the suspicious one is pretty good. Oh, and, uh, oh why does it oh, taste uh, like that? Uh, hold on. I, I think there is something poison in there. Here, take some milk. Quick, quick, drink that. M milk? Okay. Did you just poison your wife? Dude, Joseph, what was that? You were supposed to, like, be quality control on the food. You were supposed to check if it's, like, everything's up to standards. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, my God. Joseph, it's all your fault. You know, I, I'm not paying you this week. See what I mean? You need good wedding food like this. You need good cake. And what? No, dude, cake is worse because that's literally a bunch of calories, but whatever. Let's just move on to the next area. Is the wedding area so... Uh, here, wait, Pomona. You can go over here in this room over here, and I'll go in this room over here, and we can get dressed for the wedding. And then, uh, Speaker Man, Speaker Baby, you guys can sit over here. Is everyone ready? And all right, all right, here. Let me just go ahead and grab my suit really quick. Boom! There we go. I am looking super fancy, but wait, hold on. Okay, I need to look a little bit fancier than just this. Come on, okay. What about I go ahead and replace this helmet with, uh, one of those deer skulls, like, from earlier? And ooh, yeah, okay. This is looking nice. I bet Pomni's gonna love this, but, uh, anyways, is everyone ready? Yeah, we're ready. And all right, all right, Pomni here. Let's walk out on the count of three. Let's go in three, two, one, let's go! And all right, here we go, here we go. It's about to be time and hello there! Hello, dear! Wait, hold on, wait, why aren't you wearing, like, the wedding clothes? None of it fit me. It was all way too big. Oh, oh, fair enough. I, I guess we can still proceed. Joseph, you're right. You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be my guy. And okay, okay, Joseph, come on. Uh, just be over here and, uh, uh, can you do the thing, Mr. Joseph? Do you probably take Dash to be your husband? Uh... And do you, Dash, take Pomni to be your wife? Uh, sure, dude. Uh, you may now kiss the bride or something. <laughs> but wait, shouldn't we actually just finish playing Date, Marry, or Kill first? And, oh, oh, yeah, you're right. That's probably a good idea now that we have tours of everyone's houses. All right, well, uh, who wants to go first, I guess? Well, obviously, I'm marrying Pomni, and I guess I'll date Dash, and then I'll kill Speaker Man. Whoa, wait, isn't Speaker Man like your dad? <laughs> yeah, it'd be weird if I dated him, wouldn't it? Well, then I guess I'll marry Pomni, and then date Dash, and then kill Speaker Baby. Okay, okay, fair enough. I guess it's my turn now um well i'll marry pomni date speaker man and kill
shell speaker, baby. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would like to see you try, though. And Okay, okay, it's just a game, but uh, Pomni, I guess it's your turn now. Um, you said I could choose anyone in this room, right? And, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I guess I'll, um, kill speaker, baby, date speaker man, and marry Joseph. And, wait, what? Joseph? Why not me? You said anyone in this room, right? <laughs> No, 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 wait, no, wait, it's not a game kill me. Oh, oh gosh, oh, gosh. What the heck? Speaker Man, chill out, chill out. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.